Ted! 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 Oh hey, my Craig. god. I, when I left, it was sunny and 27. I just want to know one thing. Three days How come of every life. time you ride your bike to my house, uh, you come on a girl's bike? But, like you know, Peter North, I got a lot to work with down here. I need that space. <laughs> Teddy, what are we doing today, pal? We're going to be making turkey burgers. You wanted to learn how to make a really good turkey burger? Yeah, so I'm going to show you. I love them because when I make them, though, there's sawdust in a bun. What you need is you've got some ground turkey. Okay. All right, this is just out of the grocery store. Easy peasy. And it's about a couple pounds worth there. But ground turkey's soft. There's not a lot of texture to it. Right. And so I want to put some texture okay. into my that makes sense into my turkey. So I have a turkey breast, boneless, okay. skinless turkey breast. You take the turkey and you cut it into some strips, just like that. Yep. And you can do this exact same principle with a chicken burger. You could do the same thing if you wanted to make a python burger. What? A python a burger. A snake? A snake burger. Yeah, Who's people have do you, it. Have you, have you eaten snake? Yes, I've eaten snake. I hate those things. They scare the living shit out of me. <laughs> you then take this and then you just cut it across into a little bit of Is there a dice. meat you wouldn't eat? Like, is there something you just go, no, I say no to that meat? Listen, if you can eat it, why not try it? Yeah. That's what I say to my kids around here. You know, you don't have to like it, but you should at least try it once. So then you put that in, and it's about a pound, a little over a pound. Okay. Ounces. Now you want a little red onion in there. If you don't have red onions, shame on you. <laughs> a little bit of garlic. So you're doing it this way, which I like, but I have enjoyed seeing you do the smash with the knife. The it's... smash is nice too, yeah, but yeah. this is, I just want, I don't want chunky garlic in there. I want it to kind of melt in your mouth when you right. put it in. You can't. We just want a little bit of thyme in there. So we're going to take a little bit of high melt mozzarella cheese. Cube it up into little you know, quarter inch dice. Can I have your jacket, Ted? I'm cold. Get over it. Stand <laughs> by the fire. I notice you're not wearing your toque, but rather 94.9 The Rock. The nice Rock, cap. man. The Good rock. station. I kind of work there. Salt, pepper, and garlic mix. Oh, so you pre-mix. Oh, very good. Okay, get the juice out of it. Chop it up. All right, that's not too bad. No, right. you got that. Beautiful, looks beautiful. Okay, next part. Cool Ranch Doritos. So, and why, I guess, just well, for this flavor? this is a little bit of a binder. So, oh, so instead of like bread crumbs. a little binder in here, instead of bread crumbs. Brilliant. And then, so you just crush it up a little bit like that in there. It'll pick up any residual moisture. But the key to this is cornstarch. Okay. Or potato starch or yeah. arrowroot starch. Yeah. When you can't see the meat like that, okay, that's about enough starch. All right, so you got the cornstarch, you got the crushed up Cool Ranch Doritos, all right, you got the mozzarella cheese, you got some green onions, some thyme, mm -hmm. everything. You got the ground turkey and, every, and salt, pepper, and garlic. And then we're just gonna mix it. Oh, see, this is a brilliant move. See, this isn't something that, you know, we just don't think of us average backyard grillers, because normally we take a hunk of the meat in our hand, flatten it out, fight with it, and it'd all be uneven. But with this ice cream scoop, it's gonna be even burgers. Pack it, yep. just a couple taps, that gets the air out of it. Okay. Throw it down. And then one of the key things about it is that you need the meat to be ice cold. Okay. So keep it in your fridge for, for up until the time you're going to do it. Is that right? true of all, like, ground beef burgers ground, or? Ground meats, anything like okay. that. Yeah. For this so in You the put fridge? them in the fridge for about an hour. Okay. And let them chill and let them set up. Okay. So you can make these the day ahead if you'd like. Smart move. Or That's make right. Them on your thing. Yeah. In the evening. And then we'll get our charcoal ready and we're going to grill them. Beautiful. So it's a two beer cook then? Two beer cook. Okay. Easy, easy, easy. Go. Beautiful. I'm ready. Could you use the Doritos because Joel's already into them? Get out of the Doritos, man. So I'm spraying the burgers with a little bit of duck fat. All okay, right? can you use any fat? Could you use you like an use avocado a oil? Non stick or? spray, okay. you can use anything you want. And as I'm doing this, I'm kind of massaging the burger and I'm pushing it down because I don't want these to take forever and a thicker burger takes longer to okay. cook. All right. And you also have to remember meat to bun ratio. So if you start with a burger this thick and it shrinks, then you got all this empty bun space, and okay. nobody wants to have a bite of a bun and no burger in it. Right, that's a crime. You have to have uniformity all the okay, way through. Okay, all right. So squish it all down right, a little okay. bit like this. And we should move this along because I think tsunami is rolling in. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have in your mind, you're at work all day long, and you want to go, and you're coming home, and I'm going to make turkey burgers, and it's pissing rain. Right. Are you really, as a barbecue human, are you really going to settle for your oven? 
or are you gonna suffer through the rain and cold beer and have some fun? And I can't believe you didn't come with any beverages. Now when you're cooking burgers, you wanna have a nice bed of coals. Okay. But I wanna in infuse some flavor. A little rosemary, a little bit of thyme, whatever we got, doesn't really matter, all right? Spray it, rub it, spray it, rub it, spray it, rub it. Spray it, rub it. Don't tug it. Well, it is yours. You can do whatever you want with it. Is the the, the duck fat? Is it a higher concentration? I guess is the right yeah, of it's fat. It's just it's just pure fat, oh, and okay. it's a, from a bird, and those are bird burgers. Right, right. It makes and sense. So get a little salt and pepper on it. Remember, we sprayed this side as well. Right. And now I'm flipped. Oh, okay. The mozzarella, it's not melting out. Right. You're not losing it. You're not losing it. So then you take your tongs, take your sticks off, right? Yep. Like this. Okay. And you don't leave. This is where things, if there's a lot of fat in your burger, like there's the cheese and it starts to ooze out and you get flare ups okay. and you're in the house yeah. watching the game instead of watching your burger, just stick with your food. Okay. We're using what's called a cowboy cauldron. You can do these burgers on your gas grill. Don't want to cook them on high. Turn the temperature down, right? Infuse okay. flavors. The things like Always from well. fresh herbs give you boosts of flavor. Okay. These are the aromatics that take your cooking from an everyday burger to something that's a little bit better. Really could use a coat, Ted. Do you have a coat? And you complain a lot. And this is a horseradish infused mustard. So we're just gonna do that on top. Okay, instead of that going on the bun, that's gonna co cook into it, all right. Well, now you'll get the flavor of the mustard infusing into the meat. You see how the juices are coming up? Yep. And that, it's just started, so now we're gonna flip it over. Oh, look at how pretty that looks. Condiments are the best. Now what's in there? Ranch oh, dressing. Oh, okay. We're gonna turn it into peppercorn ranch dressing. Oh, Watch. Great. You add a whack of pepper. Guess what? It's now peppercorn ranch. <laughs> Watch, I got a new trick. Okay. You'll love this one. Be careful of my bike. Really, right? Now it's peppercorn chive ranch. British people put the chips on sandwiches, isn't that a thing? Yes, they do, because they're freaks. <laughs> Oh, this looks amazing. I never would have thought of this. This is why you come to Casa Reader. Now, did you just dream this up this afternoon, or have you been doing it like this for a while? Right when we started cooking. Th you came, this is the first time you've ever done this? Yes. Wow. Well, now your burgers are there like that. Yep. Cover them over. So here we create that convection and do it. It's like closing the lid on your gas grill. Right. The burger has the corn, the corn starch in it, or mm. the potato starch. Picks up all the residual moisture that's in the ground turkey, and it holds onto it in the burger. You keep as much of that moisture so that when you bite into it, you get a firmer but bouncier little bite. And you also get more texture out of it because you have the pieces of chopped turkey in there versus just all ground turkey. Mm. So it's all about creating texture okay. and flavor. It's layering all of that stuff up when I cook. And that's what you look for when you, whenever you go to cook is building layers of flavor okay. so that it's more than just eh, it's wow. I'm gonna stand here and oh. be soaked all day. Thank you, my friend. Cheers. Cheers. Always a pleasure. Thank you for inviting Cheers. me. Cheers. Thank you. So I just put a little of that ranch dressing on the bun. Oh, okay. All right. All right. And are you gonna, are you gonna, uh, I'll, uh, I'll keep quiet because I don't wanna get out of the way. All right. There you go. Look at that. All right. Joel, do you see that? Look at that. We're gonna have to go fast here, kids, because you don't want a soggy burger. No. Little boar's in, that's all you need. Just okay. a schmear. Lettuce. Can I have your coat? No. Oh, fuck off. Salt and pepper. And you can do any kind of onion you want, right? And there's not even bacon on it. Right. Well, you don't need it. But bacon is maybe the greatest food thing ever. It's beautiful Ontario turkey. The ground and the breath. Diced up. Some fresh herbs. Some thyme I put in it. Salt and pepper and garlic. And a little bit of crushed up Cool Ranch Doritos. So we, I guess we should call this the cheesy Cool Ranch Dorito Turkey Burger. <laughs> Sounds good to me. So, A-frame, bend over. Okay, yeah, you don't want to ruin a piece. And then eat your burger. Oh, oh. Mm. I don't want to choke. You don't want to choke. <laughs> it's the best turkey burger I've ever had, and I've tried to make hundreds of them, and they're always horrible. It's easy, man. So tune in next week. We'll have another episode coming up on the YouTube channel. That's a YouTube uh, channel. You know that one? Ted Reader, Godfather of the Grill. Look us up there. Catch our videos. We're making tasty. Hopefully it won't be raining. <laughs> but, you know, that's life in Canada. The weather changes every day, but at least we got delicious food. So cheers. Teddy, thank you, buddy. Thank Cheers, you. Cheers, Craiger. Bye-bye. Mm. The landing strip's 10 minutes away. I haven't been there in years. Okay. How is it? Is it still good? I don't know. I don't no. go to strip clubs. Okay. I'm married sure. to a divorce lawyer. <laughs>
The burger goes round and round, round and round. Right?